Hello, Scott Blinn from Detox Studios here to give you an overview of our Uscript editor tool. Before we dive into Uscript, I wanted to briefly explain what Uscript is and why you might find it interesting and want to give it a look. Uscript is a visual scripting tool for Unity. It allows you to program the game engine without needing to be a programmer and write code. It empowers you and your team's ability to be creative without getting bogged down in the grind of setting up gameplay. And it lets you focus on being innovative and finding the fun. The Uscript Visual Scripting Tool was made by Detox Studios. We're a small group of game industry veterans who love making games and have a passion for game development and tools that empower everyone to unleash their creativity, like visual scripting systems. I actually used my first visual scripting tool as a game designer in System Shock 2 about 16 years ago. We really hope something like Uscript will empower you guys to make awesome games that we can play. So who do we build Uscript for? Basically anyone who is non-technical and wants to bring their vision to life wants to rapidly prototype and iterate on their ideas, wants to empower their team to be productive and creative, wants a production-ready tool ready to ship AAA quality products on Unity, and just in general wants to be more productive with the Unity engine. So why should you use Uscript? It's powerful. Uscript is fully integrated into Unity, giving you complete control of your development environment. We also support c -sharp's reflection within Unity, Basically what this means is that Uscript probably already works with the stuff you're already using, be it custom scripts or other tools such as iTween. It's friendly and very easy to install and use. It is also extremely easy to look at what is going on visually at a glance. It was also designed to work in many ways like Unreal's Kismet scripting tool. So if you know Kismet, you should feel right at home with Uscript. Uscript has also been designed from the ground up to be very extensible and customizable. Everything from custom skins for the UI to creating your own visual nodes for you and your teams to use. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. Without further ado, let's take Uscript for a spin. To start with, I've created an empty Unity project. And uh, to use Uscript, all we need to do is import the asset package. Go up to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and select the Uscript package and open it. Click on import, wait for it to be finished. Now all we have to do is open up the Uscript editor by going up to the detox tools menu and selecting the item, or you could also hit control U by default. And welcome to Uscript. Now before we get started in Uscript, I'm gonna close this again really quick and come over here and just show you what Uscript did. It actually created a master game object for the scene called underscore Uscript. This is, of course, definable like everything else as to what you would want to call it. And on that game object, it just threw a gizmo um, showing that Uscript is using this object. Okay, now that we've shown you that, let's load it up again. Hit Control U, and we can get started. First, I'll just give you a quick overview of the interface. By default, the UI is broken up into five main sections. The first is called the node palette. This is where you can select blocks to build your scripts with. Every logic block you place is called a node in your script. You can also right-click to access this information as well. Second is the property panel for selecting nodes. While it is empty now, you will see it filled with node properties soon enough. Next up, we have our reference panel. This panel will show you important information about your current selections and also will provide access to our online documentation and community website. To the far right, we have the subsequence panel. We'll save the details for this panel for a future video, but for now, let's just say it's a powerful way to reuse Uscripts across levels of your game, or even between entirely different projects. And lastly, we have the big gray area in the middle. This area is called the canvas, and is where you build all your visual scripts. Now that you have an overview of the layout of Uscript, let's build our first script. For our first Uscript, we're going to do the traditional and straightforward Hello World programming example. In our case, we're going to make Unity say the words Hello World to the debug console when we run the game. Let's launch Uscript and get started. First, we are going to need a way for Uscript to let Unity know we want to do something when the game is run. In order to do that, we will want to place an event node. Event nodes are special nodes that tell Uscript when to do things. In this case, we want to print Hello World as soon as the game starts. For that, we need to use an on game start node. To quickly find nodes, we can use the search feature in the node palette. All we need to do is go up to the search field. I'm going to type in start in this case and it'll filter our selection to nodes with the word start in it. Here it is, I'm gonna click on it, and it'll put it in the center of the canvas. Now we need to tell Uscript what to write to the console. To do that, we'll use a log node. This time I use the context menu to place one.
Let's click on the node and tell it what to say. There are two ways to do this. We can either set it in the properties panel or we can create a string variable and link it to the target. For now, let's type in hello world into the properties panel. Now all that's left to do is to hook the game start event to the log. To do that, we select the socket on the right of the game event and we feed that into the log. Okay, now we just got to close uScript, save the file, and hit play. And as you can see, Hello World was printed to the console. As you can imagine, from here you can do just about anything you want. All you need to do is hook up events and logic blocks in various combinations to make something happen in uScript. For example, let's say we also want to turn a light off in this game when you press a key on the keyboard. All we need to do is place a light in our scene and tell uScript we would want to turn it on. Let's do that now. So for starters, let's put a floor in here so we can see the light affect something. Scale this up a bit. And then let's also place a point light object. Move this up a bit. Scale up the range. And let's make it red so it's easy to see. Now all that's left to do is to go into uScript and make the logic. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go and get the on key press event and set that up. This will fire off whenever a key is pressed. Let's move it up here. And now what we need to do is turn the light off. To do that, we're going to use an action node called a toggle. And what this will do is basically it'll toggle the state of a game object. So right now the light is on, so when it receives the message, we will turn it off. So get up to the toggle. And now we need the light that we're going to turn off. So that's right over here. Grab the point light, drag it in the scene, place it as a variable, and hook it up to the toggle. Okay, now all we need to do is close uScript. And as you can now see, the light now has a uScript gizmo on it, uh, telling us that it is being used by uScript. And let's hit play. And again, the hello world appeared because that's still hooked up. And if I press a key on the keyboard, the light will toggle between on and off. Now let's just quickly modify this uScript so that the light will only turn off and not back on. It can only be triggered by pressing the space bar instead of any key on the keyboard. And while we're at it, we'll stop the hello world text from showing up. So let's run uScript. And the first one that's easiest to do is stop the text from showing up. So I'll just drag select this stuff and then hit the delete key. Okay, now let's look at the, the light toggle event. So what we're going to do is select these and just move them out of the way a bit. And we're going to place a filter in between so that we only care about the space bar. So I'm delete this connection. So we're going to go up to action, event, and add the filter on key press event. All this will do is it'll look at what keys was pressed and will only send the signal on if a certain criteria is met. So in our case, for the key code, we're going to put space. And now we're just going to hook all this stuff up. And this time we're going to hook this up to the turn off. This way it won't toggle. It'll only ever turn off. I'm going to press save. Close uScript. Okay, so now we'll just run the game. And first thing you'll notice, is, of course, is the hello world text has disappeared because we removed that from the uScript. And now if I just hit a random key on the keyboard, the light will not turn off. But if I press the space bar, it will turn off. And of course it'll stay off because we've told it to only turn off and not to toggle. We'll be releasing more videos showing off many other features of uScript in the near future, and also offering a free open beta, so stay tuned. If you like, you can follow us either on our website or Twitter to find out the latest news on the uScript Visual Scripting tool. Thanks for watching.